When working in Word or in Google Docs, there are templates available to you that make it so that you can have a pre-formatted document to use for your resume, cover letter, business reports, all these other things. What I want to do when I say use a resume is I want to caution it with, you can start with a resume template, but I want you to make sure that you change it. You do not want your resume to look like a template, especially if you're applying for jobs where the hiring managers look Look at a lot of resumes they're gonna know what the templates look like especially even if they're recent templates because you want um, when they're looking at that big stack of all those resumes they're going to be seeing those templates over and over again so if you use a template you're definitely gonna want to make sure that you change the colors the borders the fonts all of those kinds of things Remember also when looking at templates, which you can look at, you can see up here at the top, we can search through the um, files that we have, but then there's templates up here that are popping up along with blank documents. There's more templates off to the right over here. And if I go click more templates, I can actually search for whatever kind of template I want. So here I can search for like a resume. You're gonna see lots of resumes pop up. You're gonna also see that a lot of resumes tend to have a picture. We talked about how a picture is not something you want to include on your resume because it actually allows the employer to quickly violate the Equal Employment Opportunity Act, Act, which they don't want to do. If I'm on Google Docs, which is also a good option for finding good templates, especially templates that some people won't use, you have, um, when you're on the actual Docs page, you have a template gallery where you can actually scroll through and see different kinds of templates, and you can see they've got some resumes here. The other thing I would highly recommend you do is use this beautiful thing called Google and look up resume template examples so that you can get some ideas, especially on the picture side of it, on images, of what you could create. And these things are things that you can definitely be creating on your own because you know how to create things like columns and tables and shapes and all these different pieces that you can create. So when utilizing these, remember, don't include pictures. Now, does that mean you can't use this template? You can use this template. You just need to delete the picture or replace it with maybe like a circle that has your initials inside of it or something like that. Granted, this is not a, a cover or a template. This is uh, for a resume. That's a cover letter. Let's click on the resume one. Um, I would put your like initials in here or something like that. It's important to note that you should change the colors as well and those kinds of things so that way it doesn't look exactly like a template but there are lots of options in here what i want to point out as well when you actually use a template in word not in google docs but in word if i were to pick one like let's say i like this one and i go to ahead and create it you're going to see that it's going to have a bunch of things filled in for a person but you can click around and do whatever you want but the other thing i want to show is that over on the right over here, a resume assistant has popped up. So I don't know if you know this, but Microsoft and LinkedIn work together and they actually have found that you can gra grab and drop information from other people's um, resumes and information. So if I want to find, for instance, I want to be a um, cashier at a grocery shop okay so i'm gonna put grocery for the industry here see if that pops up nope i'm gonna put um store and see if that pops up nope it doesn't but that's okay i don't even need the industry i can just keep cashier because really a cashier is the same anywhere um you're just checking out different items and you can see that you can find different cashier options um, and look for top skills for cashiers. You can look at more um, information about different jobs that are available and you can see and see more on LinkedIn. And if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, that's okay. Um, we can't see more examples, but um, in Business Com, we create a, a, a LinkedIn profile, which is just an awesome way to be able to get started right away. And uh, it's definitely available for you to be able to use. So right here, what we can do is I can hit like read more and I can pull from this. Now, would I copy and paste all of this? Probably not, but it will allow me to come in here and fill in the different areas of what I want to do. If I've already been a cashier, I'm working towards cashiering. Um, what I also want to put is like, you don't need some of these areas. So like, for instance, if you don't want activities and interests, you can change that to like achievements or something like that. Lastly, as you're working through your resume, your goal is to hit one full page. You should not have a page and a half like this one. You should always try and hit one page or two pages 
full pages. And remember, we don't want to put paragraphs. We want to make them bulleted lists. So these probably would even be better if they were bulleted lists. And you don't even want to have them being this long of sentences. So you can definitely come in here and change things. But keep in mind that just because it's a template that says resume on it, doesn't mean it's gonna be the best example for you. So look up good examples, get ideas, and um, get creative on what you can put on your resume to make yourself stand out and look good against the competition.